Spokane Public School Board members got an earful tonight from parents and community members outraged the district is letting Spokane Regional Health use school buildings to host vaccine clinics. Krem 2's Kyle Sinchuk was at tonight's meeting. He is live in the newsroom tonight with how the district responded to the protesters. Kyle? Well, yeah, Mark, a lot of emotion during tonight's school board meeting. Superintendent Adam Swinyard tried to calm people, assuring them this is something the district has done in the past for other diseases and that no student is required to take the COVID vaccine. It's time to end the mandates. Leave the children alone. An hour before tonight's school board meeting, a group of parents and citizens gathered outside. This man with a large megaphone shouted at district employees in their offices. You need to resign tonight. You need to be fired. He claimed to be employed at a school, so we asked him his name and where he worked. Come on, man. What's your Come name? Come on. I'm not telling you my name where I work. Why not? Period. Period. You're out here with the megaphone. No kidding. Do you work in Spokane schools? Public maybe, schools? maybe, maybe not. Inside, chairs were filled, and parents, including some teachers, told board members they don't support the health district using schools to provide vaccines. I'm just wondering why Spokane Public Schools are being, uh, being used by the Spokane Region Health Clinic for the health district to administer COVID-19 shots to children as young as five years old. I can't watch students at my elementary school receiving an experimental vaccine. Krem 2 was at one of those vaccine clinics at Ferris High School last week. The clinic opened after school hours and gave COVID and flu vaccines to anyone who wanted one, not just school children. Superintendent Adam Swinyard says these types of clinics have been around in the past for mumps, measles, and rubella. And so we've, con we've continued that practice with the COVID vaccine. Swinyard went on to say children need permission from a parent to get the COVID vaccine, and students are not required to have one to attend class in person. Reporting in Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.